Eh, te quería preguntar, eh, obviamente, tu primer gol con la camiseta de Shadow Sounders en un partido importantísimo, el que abre la cuenta de hoy. ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Cuáles son tus emociones de este gol del partido en general? Eh, eh, the question was, eh, eh, Javier, uh, firstly, I think uh, a great, uh, a great goal, first goal with the uh, Sounders uh, jersey. Uh, uh, can you tell us how do you feel about uh, the goal and, and your 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 sentiments overall? Bueno, eh, primero eh, agradecer a Dios por la oportunidad de de poder estar en el equipo titular, de poder marcar siempre. Es bueno poder marcar uno como defensa. Normalmente no tiene la posibilidad de hacerlo eh, semana a semana, pero cuando, cuando uno no puede anotar, pues siempre es gratificante. Así que en este momento me siento muy contento. Eh, agradecido, como te digo, con todas las personas que, que siempre han estado ahí ayudándome. Eh, mi esposa, eh, mi hija, compañeros, mi familia. Uh, first, I would like to thank God for the uh, opportunity of uh, being on the starting team and also having the opportunity to score the goal. It is always extremely important for uh, somebody, especially who plays on the back, to be able to score. And even though it doesn't happen in every game, having the opportunity to do it uh, time to time is actually very good and, and encouraging. Uh, I want to also thank all my... Uh, I, I feel very happy and I want to thank all the people who always support me, like my teammates and my family, my wife, my daughter, and I'm, I'm very happy for this moment. Thanks, Augusto. Uh, again, reminder for those, uh, since we got started pretty quick, please use the hand raise function in Zoom, and we'll try to get to as many people as we can. Uh, Jada Evans, Seattle Times, why don't you take the next one? Thanks. Uh, congratulations, y'all, on the win. Javier, you worked a lot with um, uh, Stephen Cleveland in the back. Um, were you? Can you tell us a little bit about that that communication and uh, did he? Was he in, uh, nervous heading into this? Eh, Javier, eh, la pregunta es: ¿Tú has jugado bastante con Stephen? ¿Se han estado comunicando con Stephen Cleveland en este primer partido? Eh, ¿Qué piensas acerca de la comunicación y si él estaba nervioso? ¿Cómo estaba durante el partido? No, este, estoy muy feliz por, por la oportunidad eh, a Cleveland. Eh, la ha venido buscando, eh, chico que la verdad trabaja mucho. Y eso siempre, siempre este, como digo, en cualquier momento le llega la oportunidad. Pues muy feliz por él porque la está viviendo ahora. Eh, claro, en toda la semana estuvimos... Eh, hablando acerca del, del partido, lo que iba a hacer, que pues brindándole un poquito de, de confianza, que tenga la seguridad, la confianza que, que la tiene él, la técnica primero para jugar y que pues eh, que tenga la, la tranquilidad, pues que las cosas van a salir bien para él. So I'm very very happy for for uh, the opportunity that Cleveland had uh, today to play at the startup. Um, he's a very very good player and he works very very hard during the whole week. So I'm very, very happy for him. Uh, and during the week, we have been communicating a lot, uh, giving him confidence so he could come into the game uh, feeling good uh, and, and, and being positive about, about his participation on the team. Thank you, Augusto. Uh, Maz Vida, why don't you take the next one? Yeah, and this one uh, is for Brad. Hey, Brad, uh, I, I just have two, but the first one, can you talk about success you guys are having? going down the flanks on, on, on offense once you gain possession of the ball. Can you hear me? Maz, we can hear you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, Maz. You cut it out, but go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was just asking, uh, Brad, just the success you guys are having going down the wings uh, on offense. Yeah. Uh the success is uh, is working really well um, because uh, we have the guys at the back who are the three center backs we have are doing an amazing job at keeping the ball out and I think it's helping us so much to to um, get crosses and win first, first balls I think they won every first ball today and that that allows the team to, to open up and go forward and um, when we know we've got the guys behind us it gives us more freedom for me and Alex to get forward and um, that's what we're good at and it's, it's, it's working pretty well at the moment and we just need to keep keep working working on it because it is a new formation, but the positive thing is we're, we're only learning and we're, we're winning games and that's, that's an amazing feeling and we just need to keep improving and getting better each game. 
And just a quick one on that on that second goal, the intricate passing from the middle to the outside, and then finding you on the outside wing. Can you talk about that teamwork interplay there? Yeah, I think we we work a lot on um, intricate passing and and guys in the middle and, and bouncing and getting the finding the the numerical advantage out wide, and uh, that's that's what worked in that that goal especially. We were able to work in the, through the middle, like you said, and get it out wide, and um, just got to get in the box. I got to. Try my best to be there, and it was a great ball from Alex. And yeah, I'm happy to, to score again. Thank you, Jeremiah O'Shan. Yeah, Brad. Um, how how does this formation seem to be working, especially with um, you, you struggle? It seemed like you guys were struggling to get out of the back a little bit in the in the first half, but in the second half, it just seemed to click pretty dramatically. Yeah, you, it's maybe a little trend where. Uh, in, in the first half of games, we're kind of not playing as, as good. And then it opens up for us in the second half and credit to our fitness team and stuff like that. I feel like we're, we're a lot fitter than other teams, as you can, you can kind of see in the second half. And we just got to keep trying to play the way we play. And we'll try in the first half, we'll try in the second half. And um, like I said, we're, we seem to be fitter than other teams. And it kind of opens up for us in the second half. And yeah, like I said, we just keep working hard. And it's, it seems to be working for us right now. Alonzo Contreras. Thank you, Matt. Uh, this question goes for Brad. Brad, in the first half, uh, you missed an opportunity to score, but in the second half, of course, you scored the second goal and the winning goal for the game. Does the coach told you something about the first game in, during the half? I mean, I mean, the first play during the half time, or at the end of the game, did he, did he say something to you? No, nothing. I know I should score there. I don't think he needs to say anything um, to me personally. I, it's one of them things where I know I should do it, so it's kind of you no, know, nothing needs to be said. It's just keep going and all the boys say keep going and you'll get the next one and, and that positivity is what we have here and it, it drives us forward and it keeps us as a great great unit and because that positivity I was able to get another chance and, and put in the back of the net and we've got the three points clean sheet that's all that matters all right uh we can uh circle back around oh we got a couple more left but uh follow up so Nico Moreno why don't you take this one thank you Matt uh Javier, eh, el día de hoy eh, vas contra varios atacantes importantes, eh, Cifuentes, eh, Rossi y después Carlos Vela. Eh, ¿Cómo crees, cómo te sentiste contra ese eh, equipo y cómo aguantó la formación de tres atrás eh, contra el AFC? Eh, eh, Javier, today you had very important attackers that you were uh, uh, working against, uh, like uh, Rossi and Vela. How, how did you felt uh, uh, playing against those attacking uh, players from LAFC? Eh, bueno, sabíamos que nos íbamos a enfrentar a un gran rival en la parte ofensiva. Eh, ellos tienen muy buenas eh, individualidades. Cada uno de los jugadores que mencionaste, eh, sabíamos que eh, teníamos que estar concentrados. Eh, lo más importante es ahora no hemos mentalizado el equipo, bueno, pues la línea de defensiva pues poder mantener al cuencero porque sabemos que en cualquier momento pues tenemos una oportunidad y podemos abrir el partido. Eh, estamos trabajando mucho en la parte defensiva, pues este año mentalizado en ser eh, una de las vallas menos vencidas, pues es uno de los objetivos que estamos trabajando mucho todos los defensas y pues yo creo que los resultados se están viendo. Eh, esto motiva para seguir trabajando cada día más pues y para seguir con la misma convicción, ¿no? Uh, we knew that we were going to be playing a great, uh, against a great team with great attackers, like the attackers, attackers that you mentioned. Uh, but one of the key things that we have been working on our defensive life is the concentration, so we can uh, keep our unity on the central back very, very close and, and be sure that we're working all the time together. And one of our key objectives is to be with the less beaten uh, defensive uh, uh, group within the MLS. So we are working very hard towards that, that particular objective. All right, uh, looks like we had a couple more in the queue. Uh, so last call for anybody uh, that would like to raise their hand, uh, but we'll go back to Jada Evans. Hi, Brad, I just wanted to get your opinion too on Stephen Cleveland and you know being able to close out a clean sheet and how he was uh, as far as preparation and you know through the flow of the game. Yeah, uh, I thought he was, was excellent today. Um, to come in and fill uh, Steph's role, and Steph's one of the best goalkeepers in the league, probably the best in my opinion. So 
for, for Cleveland to come in and, and step into that role. Um, he looked he looked quality out there, and the guys helped him out. But um, him, him as a whole, he, he looked really confident, and he had a couple big saves where he held onto the ball and stuff. So a couple of crosses he came out. So definitely very happy for him to come in and um, step into such a big role. And um, yeah, it's just a start for, for Cleveland. All right, uh, got a few more here. I'll see if we can get to all of you, but might only be able to get to one or two. Uh, Jason Mitchell. Hey, Fred Brad, unless uh, Javi wants to chime in too, but after the uh, San Jose match, your coach talked a bit about, <clears throat> excuse me, feeling like maybe uh, people have written you guys off this year. Did you guys come into this season feeling disrespected or like maybe you had something to prove? Uh, no, not really. Um, we, we left the season, I mean, we left last season with a sad taste in our mouth of, of losing the MLS Cup final. So I think for us to come back in, everyone was ready to go and sharp. We weren't kind of focusing on the media. We were just, just doing us, you know, and um, we've got a great uh, unity here at this, at this club. And um, that's what we try and do every year. And we, we, we came in and we uh, were learning a new formation, which is difficult, but uh, we kind of don't listen to all that stuff. We just, just focus on ourselves, and it's been a great start this season, and we just want to keep building on it. Felipe Makeda. Uh, congratulations to both of you. Uh, Javier, my pregunta is, um, al, al inicio del encuentro salieron con una manta. Eh, ¿Nos pudieras decir quién fue de la idea de la manta? Y si quieres reforzar el mensaje que le mandaron a Jordi Delem. Uh, 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 Javi, when at the beginning of the game you came out with a with a sign, uh, would you like to explain a little bit what was the meaning of the sign and if you want to reinforce the sign uh, a message that you had there for Jordi Delem? Sí, este, bueno, eh, fue en total de todo el grupo. La idea, pues, de poder eh, poder brindar una eh, una manera, ¿no? Una manera de poder este, decirle a Yori lo importante que es para nosotros. Eh, sabemos lo que ocurrió eh, con él y pues una de las maneras de poderle mandar nuestro apoyo. Eh, es un jugador muy importante para nosotros como, como jugador y como persona. Lo queremos mucho eh, personalmente. Es un gran amigo que tengo aquí en el equipo. Así que pues nada, decirle que estamos con él. Eh, también pues con Steph que eh, obviamente pues la recuperación de él va a ser mucho más rápido, lo vamos a tener con nosotros mucho más tiempo, pero de hacerle sentir el apoyo, el respaldo, el cariño que tenemos por, por, por cada uno de ellos, específicamente ahora por, por Yori, y decirle que todos estos partidos que estamos jugándonos todos, lo estamos haciendo por él también. Um, so it was really a group, uh, a group's idea to try to send a message uh, to Jordi so he knows and, and feels how important he is for us. Uh, he's, in a personal note, I mean, he's a very good friend for me. Uh, and the idea was also not just for Jordi, but also to wish uh, the best for also for Steph. Uh, but in particular, we know that Jordi is going through a more difficult uh, process, so we wanted to be sure he felt like uh, we really care for him and he's a very important part of this team. And we are playing uh, to a certain degree for him in, this, uh, in these matches. All right, we'll let uh, Michelle Mendoza uh, will be our last one for this player portion. Go ahead, Michelle. Thank you. There's a, a lot of new players, young players, a mix of experience and youth. Would you uh, address what that's like and how that's going to be playing into the future and future matches? Brad, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, Take that one. Um, uh, it's kind of the, boy, the young boys have uh, come up from the start of the season with us and. I think myself and the team have been very uh, impressed, and uh, they've they've been fitting in really well. And you see, you see the young guys get these chances. It's not because they're not good enough; it's because they are good enough. Um, and it's credit to them um, coming into preseason fit, strong, and wanting to to improve. And and they help us every day, and we help them. So it's really nice to see to see Reed come on today, and, and Danny Lever, um, Ethan. They're they're doing a great job, and um, they're they're definitely players for the future for sure. <laughs> 